Well, the first match of the Clash of Geniuses tournament will soon begin. So why don't we look at the participants first. In the top corner we have Cool Grovile. Some interesting points about him, he has over a thousand games of Genius Invocation TCG, which is quite a lot but in this tournament it's considered to be a low amount. It's a bit of a TCG rookie amount. And in the bottom corner our opponent is Bartender. Some interesting points about Bartender is that she also has around a thousand games of TCG played. Both of these players play TCG since release. Uh, we, could, we could say this is a bit of a rookie match. So I suppose let's look at the player's decks. Uh, these action cards and these characters were banned during this match. And as the first active character, Groval chose Layla. The second character was given to him by the opponent and it was Kali. Now for the opponent, Bartender chose her active character to be Kokomi. And the second character that was uh, given to her was the Abyss Lecter. Now let's look at the action cards. Five action cards were required for both players. Uh, we see Pancration being brought, which could play an interesting role in the following game. And then the other five action cards were selected by each of the players. So these are the action cards that each player will have to bring. These are interesting cards because these are not straight up bricks. One interesting note is that uh, Groval selected in every house a stove for his opponent, which is uh, an interesting move, selecting the arcane for the opponent, but you know, it's an arcane that you need to wait for a while to use, so perhaps it could be considered a good move. So in order to finalize his deck, Groval selected uh, Thunder Manifestation, uh, which I think is a fine choice, it's a very meta choice, very powerful one. Now looking at the action cards, I don't see a particular idea here. Uh, I think uh, the idea here will be just to do damage, more or less. Um, that's about it. Now let's take a look at uh, Bartender's deck. So for the third character, she chose uh, uh, Electro Hypostasis, which is also an interesting choice. Uh, looking at the action cards, uh, it seems uh, quite obvious that she's gonna play locations, uh, perhaps uh, draw the Storm Terror's Lair, uh, draw a Hypostasis Talent, which could in fact prove to be beneficial. I mean, for this strategy to work, you need to get Tubby in the first couple of rounds, more or less. Uh, we will see if that works. So, looks like she did chose to stick with the um, uh, In Every House Stove Arcane. And looks like she did bring an additional pancreation, which could prove to be actually quite useful with Cube. Uh, yeah, interesting deck there, interesting matchups. Now, let's see who is the best. As a reminder, the games are best 2 out of 3. Alright, let's observe this duel. Oh, what a draw. Double fan creation. Alright, discarding the arcade. That's that's a smart thing to do. Let's see the opponent. Okay. So we might have ourselves a pan creation show off. Okay. Oh. Very similar hands. To be honest, like very similar hands. The night is cold. Setting up Layla. Pan Ooh, pancreation. Pancreation into the no. Oh, okay. I'm I'm pretty sure Barton Tender wants to ensure that uh, she is the one to get pancreation. That's why they will perform a bit of switching and then do Cube's elemental skill for. Um, for ad ad additional stalling. I don't think there's any way that Groval could could receive this pancreation. Oh not using cubes elemental skill but setting up Angel. Okay, interesting maneuver. I assume Groval could use uh, Capricious Visage and then do the elemental skill. You know, set that up. 
but we'll see if that's what he goes for. He could just also set up locations. That's also a move. No, I'm not even setting up the visage. Okay. We'll need a strategy. Okay. I mean, might be better. But he did not set it up. All right. Allow me. All right. Completely different from what I what I was expecting. But you know, that's the game. So yes, that's the turn. And the bank creation activates. Okay. Alright. Some very interesting tactics going on here. The Mayus might be kind of nice this early, actually. And he already has Precious Visage. So he could probably play that on the Thunder Manifestation. That would probably be a smart idea to play Capricious Visage on Thunder Manifestation. Uh, Angel already has Lightning Rod, so you could, you could, he could pop him if he wanted to. Yep. No, it's interesting that he's not setting up Mayus Capricious Visage, but you no, know, maybe, maybe that's a good move. Alright, play Vanessa to manufacture a dice. I guess Pancration could be played here. You know, for even more cards. Even more locations, okay. Yep, there's the Pancration. Toss, okay. I thought these were decent dice. I suppose there are better ones. Yeah, it makes sense to switch to hypostasis because lightning rod is about to activate. Hmm. All right, time for some rock paper scissors action. Okay, they have resistance. Mm, we shall see. Oh, using the RK now. Oh, okay. Okay. Uh, Willow of the Lake is not gonna activate because uh, he has four cards. I think he might have needed to go Capricious Passage on Hypostasis. Alright, it's anybody's game so far. Well, that's not very useful. That's a bit more useful, I think. Bartender could play Storm Terror's Lair to draw the, the cube's revive. Uh, because that's the only talent that she has. Uh, and then you would also get the reduction of the dice. Uh, these these cards aren't helping very much. I mean, Layla could stall with the shield. That could be okay. Switching Kali to prevent application. That's that's also a maneuver. All right. But this is, depends. Could not bring Lotus the, in in this particular game, so they did have to bring uh, Ash Brown. Alright, enjoy the mental skill. And perhaps, perhaps burst as well? We'll see what she does. Go! Okay. Well, Kali is more or less screwed now because he can't play long shooting and switch in time. So the piercing damage is gonna is gonna kill Kali anyway. So the only real move here is to burst uh, because Kali is gonna die anyway. Just like 
Yep. There's the rules. Alright. She she switched in queue. Okay. That might be a better call to make than Coco me, you know, don't get the dandro core. But it is gonna pop cube. Forest Ranger. But that might be fine. Forever. She did tune the Storm Lather Terror's lair, so there's no way that she could uh, draw cubes revive. I mean unless she gets lucky. She did not get lucky. Alright, nothing particularly all that useful in both opponents decks, <laughs> to be honest. <laughs> Fast switch. Take heart. Victory right. will be ours. Normal attack, okay. Alright, then for a fees instead. I, I don't know, man. We'll need a strategy. I don't know, we, we, see, we see some geniuses at work here. Entered the last stand. I'm pretty sure this will be the final round. Fellow I'm sorry, to me. That's, that's the only strategy, basically. Right. Well, I do think it's 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 Joe now. Ah! That one health. I don't think that one health will save you. I mean, you could heal up with a normal attack up to 2 damage, but yeah, yeah, the burst finishes off, the burst does 2 damage. Alright, good game, but it is best 2 out of 3, so we will proceed again. Alright, it's time for round two. Let's see. Alright, it's completely different. Okay, so this time... Oh, that's a powerful opening hand. This time, Bartender was able to get both Tubby and, and the Catalyst. So, uh, perhaps, perhaps the game... Perhaps this game will go more in her favor now. Cool Growell does have a Liar Song. Uh, we'll see if that's useful or ineffective. It's a bit of an interesting play. Alright, once again, uh, Heart of Brilliance on Layla to set her up. That That's, that's a very the cool move. Oh, how brightly burns the truth! Ooh! Growell did get a Sealy. Let's see if he uses it. Not now. Another elemental skill. Huh. Setting up and a normal attack. What is going on here? Okay. These are some interesting plays. This is not how I would play, but you know, that's why I'm not playing. <laughs> And hit Kujirai as well. Okay. Okay. That Wang Shuin is gonna be saved for next round. Alright, so Groval did get send off, uh, which could, would mean uh, Lectern's burst. Uh, we'll see if that ends up happening. Storm Terror's lair with Tabi. Ooh, that's, that's very powerful. The dice situation, though, is 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 not ideal for Crowell. It's just horrible. 
four <laughs> four pyro dice and he doesn't have a single pyro character. Okay, fast switch. Yeah, there's the I mean the cards are decent, but like the dice situation is just horrendous. Okay, he is gonna burst later. Why'd he use the fast switch? Some sort of threat. Some sort of threat to the opponent. There we go, Storm Terra's Lair into the cube talent. And Storm Terra's does reduce uh, Andrew's first boss. That's exactly what's gonna happen. Oh, there we go, that's the send off. Goodbye, Andrew's Burst. <laughs> the opponents um, don't know the cards of uh, each other, so there, there was no expecting the send off. Alright, an equipping. Okay. Okay. I mean, feels like a bit of a waste, you know, waste of two elemental dice because of flyer song but you know what do I know all right I think I think two elemental skills with Enju is what's gonna happen there's the first one and I think we're gonna get to see another one yeah it's a difficult call to make this Where are you? oh yeah mm, normal attack okay that makes more sense Well, Bartender seems to have a, a lot more and a lot better uh, cards. Mm, there's even the second Storm Terror's Lair, which is free because of Tubby. Uh, cool Grovel only has two flowing rings and Capricious Visage. It's not there's there's not many strategies that uh, you could play with this utility. Normal attack to kill Angel. And there's the second Storm Terror's Lair. There's the Andrew's Burst again. Another Sealy! Huh. Is that luck? Or is that not luck? <laughs> Honestly, probably Kali's elemental skill would be the go-to move here. You know, that way you could save up an additional attack. But you're not gonna burst with Polly, so yeah, switching might be better. And then you know, hopefully you can burst with Polly later. But I don't know, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's, it's a difficult decision. And he could do Capricious Visage with uh, Thunder Manifestation Element skill. That's a move to make. All right, I think we're gonna see some Rock Paper Scissor action. I mean, I'm pretty sure he has, he has to take Kenju here. I don't see any other move. Yep. That was very well calculated. Ooh. Sacrificed. Sacrificed. Hold on a minute. Sacrificed the Monstead Hash Brown. Instead of instead of strategize. I mean, you have every house a stole. I I don't I think you should have kept that Hash Brown. You don't have a Lotus. Well, I mean, there's not really much of a play here to be done. Just one binary and switch, yeah. That's it's the only play that uh, possible, but... Uh, personally, I would have probably switched to Layla. Because you get Overload, Overload, and... Go to the station again, but, you know, maybe keeping Layla... As the last character, maybe that's a better move. I'm not sure. We shall see. Alright, well, it's Grovile's turn again. And this is not helpful utility, like, at all. I mean, one attack will ensure that Sealy activates, but, like, this. You can't do anything with this. Nice attempt, but you know that doesn't really help much. Not now. Oh, 
Oh, there's the Arcane Day of Resistance. Okay, that might actually be helpful. Unfortunately, uh, Bartender has Tubby again, which is gonna discount um, Dawn Binary, which could provide one additional dice. Talent. Okay. I feel like it's a bit early for the talent. But you know, maybe maybe she's doing that to prevent uh, Layla's um, Layla skill. Maybe that's the reason. Personally, I would probably switch to Infestation just so you could do elemental skill afterwards. Or perhaps that's not what's gonna happen. Well, I mean, saving Thunder Manifestation till the end, maybe that's a better move. I'm not, I'm not certain on that. I think, I think sacking the Manifestation would have been a better move. Okay, just using a dice. Ooh, Hash Browns. Okay, uh, that's, okay. Maybe it was worth saving Thunder Manifestation, we'll see. <laughs> I'm not certain Growell can win at this point. I mean, it's gonna make switching more expensive, but I don't think that will matter much. Mm -hmm. We'll just have to wait and see. Well. Those those action cards like they're they're not gonna help you much, you know. Yeah, I think I think I think bartender just wins. Pass switch to Layla to worst. Fair enough. But I don't I don't think it would it I don't think it really matters at this point anyway. Normal attack. Okay, I'm not even wrong with versus. I mean. Saving it. Yeah, two two full storm terror uses. And creation, that's not gonna help. There we go. Top paper scissors. Well, no, that's a GG. The score is one to one. This is this is the final game. Whoever wins this game wins wins this match. Well, Groval now has to marry Razo. And Paimon in the first round. This could be quite fortuitous, we just have to wait and see. On the other hand, uh, Bartender did not get Tubby nor any locations for that matter, so uh, so whether this is good or not is still a bit up for debate. Uh, but she does have Vanessa, so could you, yep, Vanessa, and maybe play the artifact or, okay, she used Dendro Dice. Mm. I mean, she still could play the artifact if she wanted to, I don't know if that's a good move. Or oh, sorry, the weapon I meant. She did bring two copies of the weapon, but did not use it single time well, that, so that's a bit interesting uh, let's see what Groval can do I'm pretty sure play Paimon and play Timaeus I think that would be the best move here mm, Don, I don't think you should Don Viner should be played this round I think Timaeus is better because it's also gonna get uh, one more stack Ooh. I mean that might be good, but if you get switched the, with Electro Cube, that's uh, that this artifact is not gonna activate because you need to be active character. If 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 Layla gets switched, the the artifact won't be activated. Yep, there's the Paimon. Dawn Binary, huh? He didn't. He did decide to go Dawn Binary instead of Timaeus. 
Huh, interesting play there. And he decided not to use Dawn Miner. So yeah, that's exactly what's gonna happen. You, you, uh, Barton is gonna switch to cube and then switch and um, yeah. The artifact won't activate. Well, I, I generally think that that was a misplay there. Oh, Tabby plus Sumeru. Alright, that's a very good draw. Sumeru could come in clutch and uh, prove to be quite effective. Okay, just real reroll to mains. Mm, the Favonia sword might actually be useful here. We could set up Kali very fast. Ash Brown. And Layla, I think that was a bit quick. Maybe you should save the dice a bit. Not using the sword though. Not using the Favonia sword. I mean, doing the elemental skill without a sword. I mean, you could have set up Kali like immediately. And you could have probably burst as well. Mm. So, that's an interesting play. Alright. There's the artifact. And there's the Sumeru. Is... Is she gonna heal? I think she should heal. Or, okay. Heal next round. I guess that works too. Personally, I would have probably healed. Alright. Interesting game so far. Bartender has a lot of potential for snowballing. Yes, double, double cubes talent. Well, Groval has 11 dice. Now, he does have send off. So the question is, is Bartender gonna burst? Because from, la from the last game, she should already know that Groval has a send off. Elemental skill, and it pops the cube. Uh oh, uh oh. <laughs> Forgot about the little skill. Uh oh. That happens, you know. It does, in fact, happen. All right, plus one damage from the catalyst. Now, unfortunately, Sumeru is not gonna activate here because uh, there's just uh, too many dice. Oh, or is it? All right. I guess that that is another move, just not using Sumeru. It doesn't kill. I, I forgot about Vorokasha. <laughs> I think both players did as well. We'll need a strategy. Oh, well, this is a precarious situation for bartender. I don't know if she can pull through. Uh, Storm Terror's there is basically useless at this point. I mean, unless you do another burst of Angel. I don't think that's gonna happen. Not now. Normal attack. Yes, that makes sense. And the elemental skill would freeze you. Cold. Mind to command. Uh, 
that's the best move you could make in this situation, pretty sure. Then just simply burst for, for the one extra heal. I mean, grow well. Oh, stalling with Liban, okay. I mean, Groval has no real reason to rush, you know? He can take his time if he wants to. I believe a comeback is possible. Let's just have to wait and see. 9 dice versus 12 dice. Oh, the arcane. Hmm. What, you know? Monster Hash Brown? Second Sumeru? You know? You know? I think, I think it's possible for a comeback. Up, oh, there's the arcane on Layla. Oh, it's just gonna stall. You know that's a strategy. Just, just battle of attrition. Another send off. Okay, how interesting. Not now. All right, more stalling. <laughs> I mean, it's a, it's a viable strategy, I guess. <laughs> Okay, drawing more cards. What's, what's the play here? What's the play here? Just stall. I mean, I guess if, you know, if it works, it works. But, I mean, Anjo is already up there for your health. Round six, you know, I, I did, <laughs> to be honest with you, I did not expect this game to last this long. <laughs> but, you know, we're at round six now. <laughs> well, that's not very useful utility. That's... I mean, binary could replace Stubby or... I think... Stubby. Cole, mine's a command. Creation. Oh, okay. I didn't expect her to play Creation. I assume this is still anybody's game, but I don't know if that's actually true. Yeah, under manifestation is gonna take care of hope. Yeah. Yeah, that's a CG. That's a GG. Ah, unfortunately, it was it was so interesting. GG. <laughs> GG. I think it lasted a bit longer than than, than it should have.